Exactly. And I can as so it turns out like because it. I've seen him do oh. it. <laughs> <laughs> is that what is like? What do I look for in like epic orchestral fantasy music? Can I see you fighting Dancer of the Boreal Valley to this? Yes, probably. Right. This is absurd. I can't be defeated by them. You well, just gonna, did, buddy. Yeah. I'm gonna post something in the gaming chat for the musical people right now. I found this the other day. They Let combined me see. the BFD oh. division with a song oh. and it matches. Oh. It. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, if you're a man, you'll get a testosterone boost. If you're a woman, you'll become. Uh... If you're a woman, you'll get a testosterone boost. Yeah. No, you oh, become okay. pregnant. No, I will not listen. I was about to listen. Oh. Yeah, don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Fuck. I was about to hit it. I would have hit it had that message not popped yeah. up. Fucking will not. Asher, I think it's a coin flip. It doesn't matter John. what crotch hardware you got. What? John, don't be trying to get me pregnant. What? Uh, nope. Anyway. By posting this in the <laughs> See you later, <laughs> kids. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> moving on. Moving <laughs> on. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I listened to done? it. Nice. What's happening in the game? <laughs> We're still alive. Just... Why the fuck it blew Wait, what the what? fuck? Yeah, we yeah, killed the boomer. Was it poor Was this game just, was this game just really fell right, its time? Fell right off of the chandelier. No, like the shit. Like, like, when did this game come out? Ninety-six. Oh, yeah, this is really ahead of its time. This Damn. came out on. This came out my birth year. I came into the world at the same time as this game. <laughs> All right, Maria, I'll Shandle. lead you to the top. We must hurry to the appointed place. You know, if these shy guys were conscious the whole time, why didn't he just let go and let Boomer just fall to his doom the whole time? Because Maybe they're thought... they're working for Smithy. <laughs> then why are they? Never mind. It's just well, I mean, a game. It's just they, a game. they all have questionable loyalty. because they because this guy doesn't want Bowser to bisect him, so he's doing what he asks. It's like you see the thing about it is the other one is really close to Boomer. This one's really close to Bowser. So with the other one. It will take longer for Bowser to kill them because he has to try and jump across the chandeliers. Also, padding for time. Also, realize that they're on a chandelier, obligatory chandelier song in the background. Uh, Wait, there are gonna chandelier swing specific songs swing from the It's chandelier. actually quite nice. Huh. I learned something new. <laughs> one, two, three, one, two, three, drink. One, two, three. All right. There are no seatbelts. Yep. What the fuck? Hey, again? One, two, three. Get ready. One, two, All right. Okay. Final <laughs> moment of the game. Hey! Or. <laughs> the shy guy's just still on screen. Wait. Wait. Hey. Did I say something wrong? What? what? Was that not the final moment, or did I speak too soon? We'll go oh, on and I find know. out. <laughs> Let's do this. I'm gonna take that as a no. The eye is protecting Exor. Um, Who's the fuck? It, oh. What the fuck I think they am I looking at? What the You're hell? looking at Exor. It literally just said the eye was protecting Exor. Yep. <laughs> it's... Wait. Wait, that's Exor, Wait, so... he is two entities? <laughs> okay, so that one did... Smithy. That's Exor. Oh, the... Could this sword pierce the heavens? Well, yes, actually. Down. It actually <laughs> did. It out. broke the star road when it fucking entered. It literally pierced the heavens on its way down. Let's kill it. That's impressive. Kill the uncovered. Oh my god. Nice. Super Mario invented orbital bombardment before orbital bombardment was a thing. Honestly, yeah, that's, oh, that's pretty much what happened. God damn it. <sighs> <laughs> Actually, what correct, we... correction, Smithy invented orbital bombardment. <laughs> Honestly, he, he invented the ODSTs, Shit. now that I think about it. Oh! He invented a lot of things. Whoa! If you, if you consider XOR to be like a drop pod, which, considering, like, that's a lot of, like, how the Smithy gang entered Mario's world, so yeah, he kind of fucking is, yeah. 
Smithy created the first ODST. Oh no, Smithy invented where uh, we drop him. I thought yeah. uh, Starship Troopers book from way back when did that. Could be wrong. Was it? Yeah, well, the idea of dropping troops from orbit into battle. Group hug. There was also Warhammer did it as well. I know Warhammer, it was definitely a very popular thing. Starship Trooper, it sounds about God right. It sounds about part of the course. Oh, so she's just showing now her, like, I'm thinking about Spartans yeah. versus Space Marines. Uh, Space Marines, I, I'm sorry, it wouldn't be much of a contest. Okay. <laughs> Space Marines versus what? Spartans. Spartans. Oh, yeah, Space Marines. They're stupid powerful, like it's silly, and that's the whole point. I mean, uh, yeah, to what, be what, fair, what, if you think yeah. they're busted, wait till you see what they're up against. They're even worse. Yeah. Like, the whole universe of 40k, it's like you've got all these people who say, who would win? The Star Wars universe or 40k? Who would win? Zelda or 40k? Mario or 40k? Mass Effect or 40k? It's always 40k. 40k always wins. It's silly. The monsters it's mute. Okay, good. They blow oh. up planets as a day job. They got this. Yeah, the 40k it's... would stop by, see the Death Star, and thought, oh, you finally built your first planet-killing weapon, and then bomb them. That's and blow cute. It up. Yeah, that's cute. <laughs> I'm gonna put that right on the fridge, then we can see it every day. If you, if you shoot up. somebody with a gun ordinarily, uh, what happens is the bullet goes into them, and if there's enough force, it also goes out of them and leaves an entry and exit. If you get shot with a weapon in 40k, what's likely going to happen is uh, the, the round itself is going to be like the size of a human fist, and it's gonna leave a hole that's much bigger than the size of a human fist in your- it's gonna just completely cave in your cavity, and then it's gonna blow up! Because they also- because the bullets that they're shooting aren't really bullets, they're actually rocket-propelled projectiles. So have fun with that fucking, uh, visual there. Hmm. <laughs> it's neat. I just realized something that amuses me. What's what? Up? Yeah. Fucking... From everything you guys just said about, like, rocket-propelled bullets that are bigger in your fist, it's just like, oh, so... <sighs> the Cabal in Destiny are basically just based on the Space Marines. Honestly, that was my biggest thing. Like, when I saw them, I was like, yeah, these guys are... They're definitely drawing some fucking similarities. Like, hard similarities from Space Marine. It's Damn like, it. their primary weapon is literally just a ball gun. And it does the same shit. Son of a bitch. Alright. Well. Time to wake her up. Also, just blow up plants. Yeah, the, the, there, there was the time that fucking one planet basically didn't pay their imperial taxes. They're like, that's the, like, they have, like, an in-canon, like, lore name for it, but that's pretty much what it is. It, it was there in fucking imperial taxes. And, uh, basically, uh, the, the, the government in 40k gets theirs. The Imperium will always get theirs, oh. no matter what they're fucking asking of you. <laughs> So their response was like, "All right, okay, we're gonna send a, a fucking, we're gonna shit. send a troop of the fucking Death Corps of Krieg over there, and uh, we'll we'll get our imperial taxes. Don't worry." Uh, so they send they send this fucking they send this fucking. It's not it's not like a fucking chapter of goddamn Death Corps of Krieg, is it? They have like a different name for it. What? A company. I guess I don't know. They, they 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 brought a bunch of fucking Death Corps of Creed guys over to this planet, and basically they just bombarded the shit out of this oh, fucking shit, sh uh, this no, fucking planet, no. this fucking city that they were holed up in for like a solid five years or so. And they were like, "Please, for the love of God, we surrender. We'll pay your taxes. We'll do whatever you want. Stop fucking shelling us." To which they basically replied, "Gee, that's really interesting, but I sure don't care." And then continued to shell them for like another three or four God fucking years after the fact, just to ensure, "Hey, the Imperium is not to be fucked with." <laughs> oh, come on! God yeah. damn it! You know what one of my favorite stories in 40k? You got this group of space marines called the Flesh Terrors, and they're absolute lunatics. 
they I remember one of the things they're derived the from the blood angels and the blood angels have this thing called the black rage Which makes them go completely fuck bonkers and kill even harder than they already were to the point They gotta get put down like a rabid dog that happens to Yeah, them isn't like the flesh terrors their big thing is like they're they're cannibals Or uh, some maybe. shit like that. I like they like to flay their enemies. They're all about chain swords and stuff like that And I remember there was this one time there was a bunch of orcs and they're on a planet and they got the Sisters of Battle, the Flesh Terrors, and an armed militia from the local population. So you got the Sisters of Battle Dude, and the you local already militia. put me to sleep! You got the Sisters of Battle and the local militia on one side, and the orcs are attacking them. And they drop the Flesh Terrors behind them. So the Flesh Terrors start attacking the orcs from the rear. And then the orcs start pushing against the Sisters of Battle even harder. And then it turned out the orcs were running away from the Flesh Terrors because they were killing them so hard. Everyone's like, yeah, yeah, they got him, and then the blood, the flesh terrors started attacking them because they all fell to the black rage. And the sisters of battle noped the fuck out of there and reported them to the Inquisition because, yeah, that's not good. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's a bit of a problem that is. Yeah. Okay. Um. So my personal favorite chapter is the Black Templars. I like them. Yeah. Able juice. Wake her up. Uh, I like the Grey Knights just because of how fucking batshit crazy they are in a universe that's Shit. already fucking pretty batshit crazy. Yeah, they're nuts. Apparently the recruitment process is, like, super duper harder, but then again, like... It seems every faction I hear of is like, oh, they've got a training process that's so gruel and unforgiving oh. that, uh, only a few make it. It's like, yeah, that's pretty much bog standard at this point, but yeah, the Grey Knights Dance. have it rough. Like, don't they get dropped on an ice planet on Saturn? Not Saturn itself. I they think it's they get dropped on one of Saturn's moons, I believe. Yes, Titan. And then they yeah, got, and they it's got basically this yeah. big fucking desolate wasteland. They they're given like minimal to no. I don't think they're actually given any fucking supplies at all, and they're not given like any fucking ah. equipment. So there's nothing to protect yourself against the elements. And yeah. it's basically all right. So here's your all right. You want you want to join the fucking Grey Knights, buddy? All right. Here's your first challenge. You have to reach the temple. You have to be a psyker. Good, good fucking luck. <laughs> Yeah, because first you have to be a psyker, and then you gotta, they, they boot you out of the ship in the middle of the tundra. Okay, it's that way, go get them. And if you make it, then they make you do it all over again with a bomb collar on this time. For funsies. What the yeah, fuck? not to mention, like, the shit you're facing out there is just like, oh yeah, there's this fucking, there's this fucking bog that's full of goddamn hallucinogenic fucking psychological mind Fuck. gas that fucking like affects your memory and shit while you're already trying to do this strenuous ass task of trying to fucking survive so you can find this fucking chapter temple <laughs> Nelson are you talking about the uh, the handle The drill claw. Well, I mean, they would be attacking the handle if it wasn't protected the by the eye Knights, or whatever. Don't the Grey Knights have, like, relics that ward off chaos surgically inserted in them? I wouldn't be surprised. Because they're built from the ground up to be a demon's worst nightmare, if memory serves. They work for the Inquisition and such. They don't get along well with the Space Wolves, but that's a whole nother story. You know what The you Space can... Wolves are also the only chapter that knows that they exist, like, like, that actually have confirmed that they exist because of their rivalry. <laughs> that's what I don't get. Like, I get, like, classified information, but why keep the Grey Knights especially so secretive that you execute anyone who sees them? I never bothered to check. I, I think it's mainly just because their mission is so fucking important, which is literally just, yeah, literally just fucking throw yourself into, into the fucking warp what and just fuck? slay the fuck out of demons. <laughs> like, because they're doing, like, the top, like, they're fucking, like, assassinating shit. demon princes and shit like that. Yeah. That which I imagine is so high up on the fucking Imperium's list that they're just like, okay, yeah. 
You're not a fucking- if you're not a space marine and you see a Grey Knight, you will likely just be fucking shot on the spot just to save everybody the trouble. Because, like, if, there, if you're a space marine, there's, like, there's argument to be made, like, you can still, obviously, like, be of service to the Emperor, yada yada, you can, go, like, get your fucking memory wiped and shit like that. If you're just a fucking random Joe Schmo, yeah, you're, you're getting capped. Like, sorry, pal, you've seen too much. Jesus! No, 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 no. <laughs> Do Space Marines know about the Grey Knights? Ever since Chapter's founding, only the Inquisition and Chapter Masters have been allowed to know they exist. Space Wolves know of their existence, however, after killing a bunch of them. Red Hunters, Inquisition, Porter, Grey Knights. There's called. an easier way to beat him, okay. Uh, Solar and John, D&D uh, &D dates are up. Yeah. Instead, uh. Yeah. You know what you could use for an easy D&D &D name generator, right? Hmm. hmm. No, you can use this in order to come up with names for your characters. <laughs> I, I can just come up uh, with names for my characters. Yes, yeah, Sam. <laughs> you, want to, you want to know how? Because I made the fucking character. Peel and <laughs> key, of course. It would be peel and key. Keel and key and peel. <laughs> I missed uh, him. The three of us are in a campaign and dates for uh, when the games are happening. I've now been confirmed. That was it. Alright, group hug. What do we got? So 15th, need a burrito. Yada yada yakety smackety blah blah blah. Okay. Protection is gone. See, now, here's my fucking question. Yeah. So, I know that fucking- I know that Spartans versus Space Marines is pretty much no contest. However, I think there's plenty of argument to be made that the Doomslayer would fit right into 40k. Yeah. I think he would- I think he would actually be one of the few characters from other, like, series that would actually be able to survive 40k. Yeah, just throw him in the warp. Problem solved. Honestly, yeah, just fucking Fuck. throw him into the Eye of Terror. It'll The problem will be fucking fixed by next Tuesday. Oh, but that'll make Korn the strongest of all the Chaos Gods, and then he'll kill him too. The, the problem yeah. solved. I see no downside to this. He's like, no, it will make the Doom Slayer the strongest of the Chaos Gods, and he won't even become one because that's not what he was after. I remember, like, the, one of the things I like about the Orcs is the whole little belief power. Because apparently there was a story an Imperial Guard unit was pinned down by a single Orc that was just firing bullets constantly. He was just never stopping. And when their sniper finally took him out, they went to check on him. And his gun was literally just a pipe with a belt of rounds going into it. Huh. Then there was the... Oh. Apparently there are some Orcs that like to be sneaky. I remember there's these Imperial Guards that are walking through a blizzard, and they see another Guardsman, and they walk up to him like, Hey man, what are you doing out here all by yourself? And he looked down at his feet, and he was standing in footprints that were like five times as big as his feet, and he's like, What? And then he gets stabbed in the throat by a huge knife, and it turned out the Guardsman was an orc, who thought he was disguised. Does that make sense? <laughs> it's what like the, the fuck? Heavy what the fuck? What the fuck? Like, Hold on. Well, that's creepy. What's happening? He got, he got eaten by a sword. <laughs> Whoa! He got by the sword. Hey, where the, the other party Wait, members? Where'd you come from? What is this? Bowser's inside story next? Jesus Do you know Christ. where this leads to? Do you? It looks like X scores uh, the contact between two worlds. In other words, it pierced the heavens. If we follow this road, we'll find Smithy. So, what's keeping us? Hang on. Our own insecurities. Hey, I only joined so that I could get that castle, uh, my castle back. I'm not going to be dragged along this stupid hunt. This is as far as I can go. I'm going to gather my troops and rebuild my castle. And you, Mario, you're an official member of the Koopa Troop. It's your duty with help with the repairs. Fuck you! Bowser, you're completely missing the point. Again, 
What? I had to rip your stuffing out. No, think about it, Bowser. This sword connects the two worlds, right? Yeah, so? Even if we defeat Exor, there will be other weapon beasts to follow him. Your castle is at entrance point to your world. In short, they'll be back. Is that what you want? Um, well... Um, well... <laughs> shit, I'll be in the same place. I'll be in the same shit by next Tuesday. <laughs> exactly.